bar. Oh. That was wonderful, Mr. Rumble. Didn't you think so, Captain Peacock? Uh, yes, it brought back memories of the army and the lads, the heat, the sunset, the endless shifting sands. How long were you at Bognor Regis, Captain <laughs> Lucas, when you were at school, I was with some of the toughest soldiers in the world, chasing Rommel through the desert. Some people have all the luck. <laughs> yes, Lucas. Some people seem to forget that men like Captain Peacock and myself were instrumental in making this a country fit for heroes to live in. What were you in there, Mr. Rumbold? Catering Corps. <laughs> the Naffy? Not the Naffy, Mr. Lucas. The Catering Corps was a very important part of the service. The army marched on its stomach, remember? Oh, I suppose they couldn't walk upright for the indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Captain Peacock, these youngsters seem to forget what we went through. Were you in the nappy, Mrs. Slope? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, I was a mere slip of a girl, but I was in air raid precautions. In fact, that's how I met my husband during an air raid. The bombs were raining down, and I saw his face lit by an incendiary. He threw me on my face and said, Look out, here comes a big one. I suppose there wasn't much time for chatting in those days. And when it had gone off, we headed for the nearest shelter. And it was then I knew that it was love at first sight. The first bomb site you come to. <laughs> oh, you have got a nasty mind. <laughs>